Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, climate protesters vandalize Citation 525, Cubcrafters researches high lift wing augmentation, FAA rumors Polly Trottenberg next interim head. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Climate protesters vandalize Citation 525. On June 6, 2023, protesters ostensibly connected to Last Generation, a group of climate change activists indigenous primarily to Germany and Italy, egregiously vandalized a Cessna 525 Citation Jet 1 Plus parked on Germany's Zilt Airport. The aircraft is reportedly owned by a German real estate entrepreneur. A video posted by Last Generation in the wake of the impropriety shows a group of six backpack-wearing vandals, five adorned in orange safety vests and one in unremarkable street attire, utilizing bolt cutters to breach the airport's perimeter fence for purpose of gaining access to the unguarded aircraft. The five vested hoodlums advanced upon the aircraft while the six took a position outside the fence and commenced filming the crimes commission. From their backpacks, the company within the airport perimeter withdrew fire extinguishers charged with orange pigment and proceeded to cover the $2 million light business jet in a heavy coat of bright orange effluent. That the vandal's vest approximated the color of the besmirched aircraft was likely not incidental. Having wrought extensive damage upon the jet's engines, paint, wing, and engine de-icing surfaces, pitted static and AOA systems, cabin windows, windscreen, and windscreen pneumatic rain removal system, the wrongdoers clambered atop the Citation jet's wings and unfurled a pair of German language banners, alternately reading, Your luxury equals our drought, and your luxury equals our crop failures. And coming up after the break, 17th Annual VFS the Electric Aircraft Symposium Itinerary announced. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. 17th Annual VFS Electric Aircraft Symposium Itinerary announced. The Vertical Flight Society is a nonprofit technical organization dedicated to the advancement of vertical flight. The VFS made known the itinerary for its 17th annual Electric Aircraft Symposium, the premier electric vertical takeoff and landing, short takeoff and landing, conventional takeoff and landing, and advanced air mobility event at EAA's world-renowned Air Venture Oshkosh on July 22nd through 23rd. McFarlane introduces new C-152 engine baffle system. McFarland subsidiary Airforms introduced a new series of FAA PMA engine baffles compatible with all Cessna 152 OEM configurations. Designed as replacements for aging factory installations, Airforms new baffles have undergone individual PMA approval and may be purchased as standalone units or as a complete set. The product's reinforced design ensures extended durability and reduces metal fatigue failures. What's more, Airform's baffle assemblies are offered in both a bare metal and corrosion-resisted power-coated finish. Standard silicone seals and low-friction cowl saver seals are available as options. NBAA launches free webinar for small operators. NBAA will imminently host its first annual Small Operator Symposium, a free online community event conceived of to benefit operators of four or fewer aircraft. The virtual event is intended to build on the successes of the in-person symposium held annually at NBAA base. Dubbed Urgent PIREP Small Flight Department Administration, the webinar is open to all and will feature aircraft operators and industry experts versed in the complexities of flight department management. The comprehensive two-hour event is slated to get underway Tuesday, June 20th at 1500 EDT. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. 
Cupcrafters researches high lift wing augmentation. Cupcrafters is testing an intriguing new concept called electric lift augmenting slats, conceived to dramatically increase wing lift. Recognizing the potentially broad application for this new ELAS technology, NASA awarded Cupcrafters two research grants to partially fund the project. ELAS is a technology that combines electric ducted fans with leading edge lifting slats to accelerate airflow over the wing of an aircraft. Testing points to significant reductions in takeoff and landing distances on fixed wing aircraft. By increasing the velocity of the airflow over the top surface of the wing, ELAS lowers the air pressure above the wing, thereby increasing the lift it can generate. The system also allows the wing to achieve better aerodynamic performance at slower speeds and higher angles of attack, reducing the stall speed of the aircraft and improving its slow speed handling characteristics. ELAS is a practical way to enable fixed wing aircraft to achieve shorter takeoff distances, steeper approaches, slower landing speeds, and minimal ground roll. By adding leading edge slats with multiple integrated electric ducted fans, ELAS creates high energy airflow through and around the slats, airflow that ultimately boosts lift by a factor of 1.5 to 4, depending on the airfoil geometry and flight conditions. And after these messages, FAA rumors, Polly Trottenberg, next interim head. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. FAA rumors, Polly Trottenberg, next interim head. Washington, D.C. gossip has swirled as of late with reports that acting FAA Administrator Billy Nolan will be replaced by Deputy U.S. Transportation Secretary Polly Trottenberg, but again in an acting capacity. Nolan reportedly told staff he would be leaving the administration partway through June, with Gossett pointing to a position with AAM company Archer Aviation. In spring, Nolan had acknowledged his plans to move on from the agency when the White House nominated a new administrator, but Capital Intrigue has continued to postpone the installation of a permanent chief. For a time, it seemed that Denver Airport CEO Phil Washington would be the man for the job, only for him to withdraw his nomination after a flurry of criticism over his somewhat lackluster aviation experience. Los Angeles contracting investigation aside, Washington spent the majority of his career overseeing rail and ground transit, only entering the aeronautical scene with his Denver job in 2021. Nolan's plans to stick his post-FAA landing seem to have been set into motion regardless, though the company has not yet confirmed his hiring. Archer Aviation's recent strides in bringing their midnight closer to certification have made it one of the more promising options in the EVTOL scene. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!